Today I want to share with you one of my favorite artifacts. It comes from the Arthur Field Smith collection. Art, whose story was told yesterday, was a very good friend of our founder, Mary Ellen Johnson. And in his file, we have all the letters he sent to Mary Ellen through the years. While going through his file one day, I discovered a letter with a small wooden cross inside. Curious, I opened the letter to discover just how unique this cross actually was. After World War II, Art returned to New Jersey and decided to set up a workshop on a shoestring. One day, he stumbled upon a ship salvage yard on the Delaware River looking for equipment and tools. While searching, he discovered a group of men dismantling a huge yacht. The men were more than happy to get rid of the heavily varnished boards, most likely pulled from inside the cabin, and they seemed to be in good shape. Art found a number of uses for the lumber over the years, and his son-in-law Dick became heir to the remaining boards. Dick was the craftsman of the wooden cross. While the men in the shipyard never told Art how they came to be in possession of the yacht, they did tell him who the yacht had belonged to. Adolf Hitler. A cross necklace was gifted to both Mary Ellen Johnson and her sister-in-law Doris. Art also offered to have Dick make Mary Ellen Johnson's husband, Leroy, a cross tie tack or lapel pen. Art had stored the remaining wood in his shop for over 50 years when Dick needed a supply to continue making crosses, and the mahogany with a rather ironic story seemed best fit for the job. 